Well, he's one of the biggest pop idols in the world, but Justin Bieber's is facing some stiff competition. First, there was 12-year-old Grayson Chance, whose version of Lady Gaga's Paparazzi earned him a spot on Ellen. I'm your biggest fan. That's uh, Missy Higgins in the back, I reckon, behind a curtain. Do you think so? Yeah, that's all rigged. Okay. okay. And this right. morning, Gold Coast teen Cody Simpson is being hailed as Australia's answer to Justin Bieber, signing a deal with Atlantic Records in the US and gearing up for a collaboration with rap star Flo Rida. He's got the glasses, hasn't he? Nice. And it doesn't stop there. Another Gold Coast lad is set for big things thanks to a massive following on YouTube. Alison Fletcher caught up with Jordan Jansen. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> He's the 16-year-old boy girls right around the globe are going crazy for. Justin Bieber is an R&B heavyweight, a teen idol who can thank the internet for his big break. And now, in a suburban Gold Coast lounge room, another teenage musician is forging a career on YouTube. Your lipstick stains on the front lobe of my left side brain. Meet Jordan Jansen, a star in the making. Hey, soul sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio? Just 12 years old, he already has a manager, a portfolio, more than 50,000 followers on the internet and fan mail from as far away as Hong Kong. These girls say they love you. Yes. How do you feel about that? <laughs> um, pretty good. I've, I've also had quite a few marriage proposals, so... Really? Yes. <laughs> do you think you're old enough for marriage? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Jordan started singing lessons when he was eight. He found his way online purely for the benefit of family. I first started off putting videos on because my nana, she always wanted to hear me sing, so I used to sing to her over the phone, but that still wasn't the same. But it wasn't just nana who loved Jordan's videos. It started off just slowly. People used to email and say, you know, you're really good, and they'd offer him tips or, or what to sing next, and it wasn't until about a year ago where it really got crazy in it. Two months ago, that voice was heard by Electric Feel Management in the United States. Oh, it's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's cold and it's a problem. Now, Jordan is flying to LA to record his first single. We might be setting up a few meet and greets so I can see all my people in LA, so that'll be pretty cool. All your people? <laughs> like all my fans and stuff. Jordan knows he's achieving big dreams for someone so young, but there are times youth works against him. Well, there's so many songs that I really want to sing and they're like they're all in the top hundred and things but I can't sing them because they're all about love and things. I'm yours, so please don't, please don't Have you ever serenaded a girl? What does that mean? <laughs> Given the way Jordan's set hearts racing, I'm sure he'll find out soon. As for talk he's the new Aussie Bieber. I don't think I'm like him because we're like two different styles. Like I think he's R and B. I'm sort of like pop. Do you think he's destined for big things? Yeah, I think, I think there's no holding him back. Ah, oh, isn't that sweet? Good on him. What, yeah. a, what a great Who voice. Who does he look got. like? He looks like someone uber famous. He looks like David Cassidy and what's ah. even spookier, he's, it looks like he's got a photo of David Cassidy in the background. He does those look a lot shots. like a young David Cassidy. All right. Great voice. Yeah, he's really rad, isn't he?